Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Burning Paris Suicidal Commando. Gotta get better until we can move up to Hell on Earth. Still, I still hate it. I wish I could be on Hell on Earth, but... I'll have to figure out. I'll probably put Sui instead of Suicidal for the, um... For the hashtag. Just maybe see if that can work. Just to have something, because I feel... It, it helps. Yo, I was, uh, I was looking at my analytics earlier. And one of my videos last week... I forget which one. Uh, but one of them... Got 20 views! As of, as of recording this, or possibly 21 by now, but, like, at, at, to my current knowledge, to the, to the state was when I last saw it, which was probably, like, last night, honestly. It had 20 views. Like, most of my videos get. And it's, it's funny, because um, the views on your site don't actually update accurately. Like, it'll, it'll say on the public, from the public view of a video, it'll often say that it has, like, Reviews or something, and then when I look at it, when I look at it in my like YouTube studio, it's uh, it, it says like five or six or something like that. So, so your views that you see don't actually reflect how many views the video actually has. I'm not sure why, um, but it, it's it's not accurate. Um, so I tell people that like most of my videos get five or six views, and then they're like, well, I see a lot of your videos that only have two, and it's like, well. Some of them only get one or two views, but very few of them. Most of the time, the videos that you're seeing that only have like one or two views, that's just YouTube not updating. Um, but anyway, I get like five or six views on most of my videos. And then that one had 20. I'm like, what on earth did I do in this video that made everybody love it so much? I know that I got, I got a lot of videos in the one that we opened to crates in. I got a lot of views in that one, but like that's obvious. Um, why it happened anyway. I didn't expect it to do well, but it's obvious why it did well. Um, but with this random video, like I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a look here real quick, okay? What what video was it? Open up the channel videos here. So we got 21 views on 132. Like the title isn't particularly great. It's it's just a a bland old video. There's nothing about it that would be like SEO, right? Not that I can see anyway. But it just, it performed so well. 21 views, 2 likes. I think it might even have a comment. Does this have a comment? Yeah, 2 comments. 21 views, 2 comments. I mean, that's for, for my views, for, for my videos, like that is an incredible performance for what I normally get. I mean, that's just. That's huge. So I don't know what happened to that one, but... Y'all seem to have liked it a lot, so... I'm glad, but... I have no idea why you liked it so much. I have no idea... What caused that, at all. It's completely beyond my ability to understand, you know? Oh, that's that's not right. Will we, will we survive? No, because uh, commando grenades are way shorter fuses than gunslinger grenades. <sighs> I always forget that, you know? Gunslinger grenades have a very long fuse. Commando grenades have a very short fuse. So if you throw it at your feet, a gunslinger nade won't hit you as long as you keep moving. If you throw it at your feet, a gunslinger nade, or a commander nade will. I always forget that. So let's do it again. Let's just give her another go and uh, see how it happens. I should go put my stuff in the dryer, <laughs> to be honest with you. I gotta do that soon, probably after this video. Oh my goodness. Yeah, 20, 21 views, 2 likes, 2 comments. Like That's, that's an incredible amount of... Uh, that's an incredible performance for, for, for one of my normal Killing Floor 2 videos, you know? That's unheard of. No idea why it did well. I'm like, I'm like, I look at it, right? I look at it all the time. Since I, since I saw that it's doing so well. I look at it and I'm like, what on earth is making people click on this? What is doing it? Like, hey, here, here, here. We'll, we'll, we'll go look at the analytics for this one. You can't see it. That's good. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go look at the, the analytics for, for this video. So we'll open up the analytics. Compared to the typical performance, it's like... 
literally seven times better on the views. The watch time is also like seven times better. We go to the reach, we have significantly more impressions. The click-through rate is huge on it. 16 unique viewers, like that's incredible. The average view duration is higher by not much though, but it is higher. The average views per viewer is higher <laughs> somehow. Like just everything on it is so much higher than normal. And I'm like, why? What is what is about it that's that's making people love this video so much? Because it's not like I put, um, like a clickbaity stuff on it or something. It's just it just performed really well. I have no idea why. I'm thinking that one thing that I could do for uh, for getting better performance would be changing my. Uh, upload schedule. So instead of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., maybe I go for like 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. I'll have to look at, um, because the thing is that 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., I feel like for anybody in America is 8 a.m. PT and 8 a.m. 8 a.m. PT, so my time, Western, Western America time. Um, 8 a.m. is most people are going to be up, and 8 p.m. Probably most people are going to be up in America. Uh, so that's probably like a good time to be uploading for America. But for other places, I don't know if 8 a.m. and 8, p 8, 8 p.m. PT are, are really that great. So, I don't know. I've been thinking about changing the upload schedule, though. It's, it's, a, it's a big change, though, right? Because when you have 150 videos, and uh, by the end of this, it'll be, I think, 156 or something like that. When you have that many videos and you've had that many people like looking forward to a video at the same time every day, making a change on the, the schedule is a big deal, but I'm thinking it might help with performance because I have some UK viewers. Um, I'll have to, I don't know. I, I haven't thought about like what time would actually be good or like work out when I should be uploading it or anything like that. Like I've just thought Maybe I should change the upload schedule because I never, I didn't put any thought into this episode schedule, right? I was just like 8 a.m., 8 p.m. That's good. I'll be awake at that time. I can make sure the video goes live, right? That was that was my logic. Um, but with my current workflow, I don't have to make sure the video goes live anymore. Um, like I won't make a mistake because most of the work isn't even done by me. So I just I just verify it when it is done and then it's. It's good, you know? Can't, can't really miss any episodes anymore. I know I missed some like two weeks ago, but I don't think I missed any last week. Um, and we won't be missing any this week. Well, I was late, I think, a couple of times last week. Or not last week, but uh, the week before. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's not really something that I can do anymore because it's, it's, for the most part, automated. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's good. It's very, very good. We're gonna just launch a nade right there. I was hoping it'd kill both of them, you know? And then it killed exactly neither of them. See ya. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to have happen. And the final nade for the final boy. That's how you do it! <laughs> I like Burning Paris. Burning Paris is a fun map. Not up there, though. We just pretend that point doesn't exist. What point doesn't exist? Exactly, exactly. You got it, you got it. Now you understand. I'm trying to think up other stories is when I was uh, when I was a kid growing up. Can't really think of any. My memory, my memory is great. But I can't recall stories from, from that age, just, uh, you know, sitting here being like, ah, yes, let's think about a time when I was, you know, seven years old. And, uh, well, I, I can think of a couple, but they're not really stories that I'd want to tell, you know? Not, not family appropriate. It's not, uh, it's just kids being kids. 
right? Normal kids doing normal kid things that they get in trouble for. And, uh, you're like, yeah, do I really want to talk about that? Not really. I can remember those scenarios. Remember, um, as a kid, I got, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a tale. I got a tale to tell you. Oh, come on. That knockback knocked me just high enough that I missed his head. That's, that's kind of annoying and kind of incredible at the same time. Um, so I remember one story. Okay, I can tell you one. Uh, once I can get unpanicked here. Okay. So we were... Uh, how old were we? I would have been... Somewhere in my... Like five, six, seven year old... Era. And... You know, back then, I had, as, as a child, you don't have the same degree of, you, you can't recognize danger as well, is, is the, the thing. You can't recognize, like, oh, well, this is probably a stupid idea, right? You don't, you don't have the, where is, where am I going? You don't have the, the experience, the age necessary to, to look at dumb ideas and be like, oh, yes, this is a dumb idea. Right, because you haven't you haven't had enough dumb ideas, so you you don't you can't you can't recognize them, right? But as a, as a child, I would uh, ride a bike. This guy's really good at balancing, by the way. I'd ride my bike around the. Uh, we lived in a complex. I have the key right next to me. Blah blah blah. You know. Uh, we lived in a complex, and I would ride my bike around the complex. I would ride. You know, I can ride my bike with no handlebars, you know, and uh, I was I was a cool kid because of that. So I would ride around the, the entire complex, just doing like loops around the uh, the entire area with uh, with no hands on my bike. Right. And that was that was a cool thing to do. Me and my friends would uh, would just ride around no hands on our handlebars and uh, feel like the coolest things. Right. And we we'd start to do like challenges and stuff with it, too. So like one time I remember riding around the uh, the complex on my bike while I played Pokemon like red on my uh, my original Game Boy Color. Okay, I don't really like this area, so I'm not really going to chill out here too much, okay? And uh, actually that one worked out pretty well. I, I I did actually play Pokemon while I was riding my bike and it worked fine. <laughs> I've done it actually a lot since. You know, pull out your phone or something while you're on your bike and check it, text somebody, get back to riding your bike. Not on any roads, mind you, because while I haven't ever fallen off of my bike because of it, you know, it'd be dumb to say that it's it's not a risk, right? These days, but back then, definitely definitely wasn't. So we'd ride down the roads with, with, our, with no handlebars. Um, they weren't popular roads. Like it was the roads through the complex. We'd ride, we'd ride down them, and uh, we would um, like do all these dumb things. But there was this one speed bump, and this was the this was the one that really got me. Okay, this was the one that really messed me up as a child. Let's get enough distance to get an explosion at least. Oh boy, that's enough distance. It wasn't a headshot. Don't you know you need headshots? Come on. So there's this one speed bump in the in the complex, and I like to do tricks over it, right? And I'm talking five-year-old kid who can't even do like a bunny hop tricks. I still can't do a bunny hop, but you know, where when I when I say tricks, I mean go over it with no hands on my handlebars. And um, ride over it on my sister's bike. Or, you know, like five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old being proud of themselves for doing something that nobody has ever cared about. Right? So, uh, for, for whatever reason, this, this one bump, this one speed bump would just completely mess me up every single time. And I, I would always try it again. You know, I'd always do something again, like going over it with no hands on my handlebars. So you can't go over a bump without having hands on your handlebars. The wheel will turn and you can't counteract that. You just, you can't, the physics of it. But, 
you know, seven-year-old me, I'm like, yeah, but what are physics really? Are physics like, can I eat them? <laughs> you know, like, I'm a dumb little kid. So I kept trying it and it never worked. And every single time I'd fall and I'd get like a big scrape on my knee or whatever. I'd have to go to the clinic. And then, but I, I hated going to the clinic. I had this like fear of going to the clinic. So every time I would fall, I'd get hurt and I'd go crying to my mommy. And she'd be like, wow, we're gonna have to take you to the clinic so you can get like stitched up. And I'm like, I don't wanna. And she's like, but if you do it, then I'll take you to Blockbusters and you can pick out a movie. And I was like, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> so it was just this, this endless, every summer, it was just this endless, like, repeating of go over this bump, get injured, go to the clinic and get, like, patched up, um, and then go to Blockbusters, pick out a movie, or, like, a game or something, um, and then come back home, wait for the, you know, wound to heal. And repeat it all over again. And that's how I end up getting... I don't know if it was, you know, like... Teaching a dog to do tricks. So I was, like, being taught to go jump off this... Or not jump off, but, like, go injure myself on the speed bump. Because I'd get video games and stuff. But... It, it ended up that that's, that's what I did. I would go and injure myself on this bump. Not intentionally. Like, I never did it intent... I never did it because I wanted to get hurt. Because I wanted games. Right? I never... I didn't have that like self-awareness right it was always a surprise every time i would injure myself i was always surprised that my mother would give me a game for going to the clinic right like i, I never put two and two together that if i get hurt i go and get i go and get a, a free game right like it just didn't happen so i'm not sure if it was conditioning or, or something else but whatever it was i got to play a lot of uh, a lot of games i got um Mega Man Battle Network 4 on that, maybe? Yeah, no, I got Mega Man Battle Network 4 Red Sun from that one time. That was, that was in the Game Boy Advance era, so this was a, a little bit... A little bit later, but... Um, still, I got, I got the Game Boy Advance... Um, uh, Mega Man Battle Network Red Sun. And it was the first time I had ever rented a game that didn't have like a separate memory card. So previously, you know, the the games that I would rent would be for, you know, the N64 or something, you know, PlayStation, where you have a memory card, right? And so I'd rent the game, play the game, it would be saved on the memory card, I'd go rent it again when I want to play it again, right? However, with the Red Sun, we had to return it, and I'm like, wait. <laughs> but I want to I, I wanna keep playing on this save file. Like, I want this game. I need this specific one because this is my save I played it I don't want somebody else playing it and I was like oh but somebody else will be able to play it so you know we had to take it back because it was a rental right but that was when uh that was I, I never rented games after that again because uh because that and I also I think I stopped injuring myself after that funnily enough Maybe it was conditioning. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.